as you alluded to earlier on there, my, my, my history in digital marketing dates back to 2007, where I was using the likes of MySpace at the time and SoundClick to promote my Japanese rock band. Uh, I was living in Japan, planned on staying for one year to teach English. One year turned into four pretty quickly because I met some students and some friends and decided to start a, a rock band. And uh, that, we were an okay rock band. We were pretty good. I was a terrible singer, but through the likes of MySpace at the time, I was able to promote our band to a point where we were able to manufacture a tour of Japan and came out with a couple albums. And I give full credit to my ability to market more so than my ability to sing. And that really, through that whole experience, was really an epiphany for me. to, And I came to the realization that I enjoyed marketing more than performing and making the music. So that's when I transitioned out of that space into uh, focusing on marketing as a career. So it's interesting then you came to, I, I guess it's similar sort of perspective as how I ended up uh, accidentally involved in marketing, as a lot of people are. Um, where there's a desperate need to achieve something and the book stops with you. So you've got to learn how to do it by the seat of your pants. Um, so do you want to give us a little bit more detail on, on how that journey got started for you? Yeah, 